Welcome to Mount Tamalin, or Talaman. <laughs> oh, he's going to have a fit, but I mispronounced that. Home of the town of Burton. Now, this is still be in pro uh, work in progress. I've got a few mods that allow me to do a few different things, such as Structures Plus. So if you're on consoles, a lot of these things will not be available, such as stacked foundations for walls. Um, there are also some braziers that are on posts, different types. And I've got some work tables here that are adding things. I've also got a few hand carts, charcoal hand cart. Let's see if I've got any in my inventory to get rid of. I do. Perfect. Now I'm going to slowly jog this way to get rid of some of my stone. Because I just harvest a bunch. Now these are light posts with torches on them. And this is Little Mai's Tavern. I will have to create a sign for that and find the sign that I originally made. I had a slight problem when I was adding mods. Unfortunately, one of them was incompatible. As a result, the original build was pretty much decimated. got a ton of stone in there and it only looks like crumbs. But I guess the inventory size is quite large. There we go. Keep adding. Now let's go into the tavern and see what's going on. Got a nice fire pit here. I tried to sort of do a... I can't remember what the inn is called. In Whiterun, Skyrim. Anyway, I tried to do a little bit, but I started getting wonky with the shields. Added a couple of booths. Still got to add some more chairs. Got a nice bar here with some drinking horns. And our mascot, a vulture. <laughs> now this is our kitchen. Fireplace with charcoal and wood available. Some work, a work table. And this is our beer room. I've still got to hook up the water line so don't get so excited. Got a nice Viking bed with some furniture. The lights will go on later. And this is the innkeeper's room with a nice little throne to sit in. Bed and a, a safe for her deposits. This is supposed to be the master room that the main guy sleeps in in Skyrim, but obviously I didn't quite do it right. I added a his and hers throne with a nice king-sized bed, and yeah, I can lay on it. That's huge, though. Uh-oh. That's not good. <laughs> up the bed. Let's pick up the ceiling. There we go. Okay, so I know never to do that one again. And I just got that settled. make sure that it is centered within the walls and to bring it back far enough there not part of the wall 
I haven't finished out here yet. I did add it. No, I picked up the table. Hmm. Oh, I also forgot to show you this. Did I just do that? <laughs> Got a nice little balcony. There's a balcony over in that room. They've got a nice low bed with a fur rug and a table. And there's also a shield. Not much of a view, of course. Alright. A couple of tables out here. Still got to add more clutter, of course. And this will be a nice balcony for people to sit on. Still one more room. The attic room. <laughs> Pretty basic room, but it's got a balcony as well. So you get a pretty good view. I had originally intended this to be a stairway to upstairs. That way people could bring the birds in, but... Which would work pretty good if you were an assassin. Everything's starting to light up. Got a wood shed and a stone shed. Beer barrel. Ooh! Oh, I need a bottle, that's right. Alright, I need some more berries. I'll have to pick some. Got a nice well here. And a market stall. Cheese table. Couple of braziers. Now this is another shop. General goods, of course. Not set everything up yet, but so far. And storage, as well as a bed for the proprietor. Right up here, on that little hill, I will be building a nice outdoor cafe. Probably part way up the hill is where I'll start the start the wraparound balcony. There's still a few more things to add. Now this is supposed to be Violet's Forge, but I think that's going to change. This will be a general goods area, well, supply, I should say. Including ore and ingots and stuff. And Violet's Forge will most likely be a little bit over there. It only makes sense to have supply ne next to the tavern. But it's coming along, especially after I messed up and added that mod that destroyed everything. I was going through, uh, actually going down into the ground, I went down over there by that hill, and I could see the base. Like some sort of um, platform down low, so it's probably a cavern, something built down there. Anyway, I'm actually quite enjoying this one. I usually give up by now. Once I start something, it gets too big. It usually becomes overwhelming. And I believe up on that hill, beyond here... Let's see... Here's my water well. But up there is my wall, and 
right up there will be my manor place. But right around here will be the temple. <laughs> Probably the temple of Sam Simon Sandwiches or something. <laughs> Who knows? I want it to be kind of corny. I don't want it to be like a, a god of some kind. That just makes no sense in a game. No offense to Conan Exile players. Alright, so this is a good way to cut it off in the darkness where you can see all the light. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you upstairs. Well, I forgot to show you this. Got my forge is working over time. Still got plenty of iron in them, but I should... Did I get rid of the iron? No, there it is. Must have dropped it off somewhere. Oh well. And of course, our regular vulture with a metal ore bin, an obsidian bin that I have nothing in, keratin box. Do I have any keratin to drop into it? Or chitin? Nope. Fiber. Oh, I just picked up tons of fiber. Let's see. Bag of pearls. Yeah, I can drop that off. Sand. I got no sand on me. No salt. Flint. Do I got any flint? Just a regular medium sized barrel. Oop, and my hide and pelt box. I've got plenty of hide. Here is the smithing tables, which eventually. Well, I've got it set up to be the forge. Maybe I'll keep it the forge. I move the general goods area. I never know. Got a nice little bed for the proprietor. Probably have to update that with a better bed. Wow, it's crooked. Nightstand. Lamp. Fireplace to stay warm. Dresser. And I'm about as exciting as a... I don't know. <laughs> It's not too, not too bad here. I actually enjoyed this. Had a lot of fun building, a lot of fun running around gathering materials. Had a T-Rex up on the hill that convinced me he was a Giga. I had to kill him. But he was not very happy with me. <laughs> Alright, well, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more improvements and building expansions, because the town of Burton is just getting started.